everybody and welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while. I know I said that I set outside time. I haven't. I feel a bit weird doing this actually because I feel like I haven't filmed a video in so long I've forgotten how to do it. Um, and I'm still ill. So our whole house is in quarantine at the moment because I got an illness at the beginning of the week and just like a coffee coldy thing. And a few of my customers have also sort of like, I've seen since who have gone like, oh, we've got a summer cold. And I was like, so have I. Um, so I don't know how we all got it, but basically I spread it to my boyfriend. And then not only that, but Luna caught kennel cough off one of her dog friends. Um, so we're all in quarantine. I've actually been working all week still. Um, which probably hasn't been the best thing because I've sort of like just dragged it out longer. I should have probably got rid of it by now, um, but I'm still, I hope you can't notice it too much, but I will have to um, sort of have a sip of, of my hot tea and blow my nose occasionally. <laughs> um, but today I wanted to come back and say I'm sorry, but I'm back and I have actually have quite a few new me made garments. So I thought we'd do a sew and tell because I think my last one was quite a long time ago. Um, and I never really get time to make anything, as you know, um, because I'm so busy at work. Um, doing things like the Minerva Cross Blogger Network um, does actually sort of push me. I know um, I've spoken before about, um, you know, when I'm busy and I don't have time to do a lot of things and I'm finding it hard to sort of like split my time up. Um, but the one thing I know that really, you know, even you guys all know, all you guys told me, like, don't worry about doing the Minerva Craft stuff because um, it's just extra pressure. And I 100% get that, but if I didn't have that pressure, I probably wouldn't make anything for myself, ever. So most of these things you might have seen, um, but some of them are some new things that you might not have seen, or you probably have by now. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen all of these, so I apologise. Um, but I just thought I'd do a little try on and talk you through all of them. Um, but yeah, I've just decided that the Minerva Craft stuff, um, it pushes me to make new things. And it pushes me to keep my dressmaking skills up there. Because um, obviously I teach it all the time, but I don't actually physically get to do it because I'm telling other people how to do it and they're doing it. Um, so I just want to like keep my sort of momentum of making things going and it's just like an added, added like you've got to do this, make this by this date and it sort of keeps me going and it keeps my wardrobe full of new things. Um, and also they have such a great range of fabrics anyway that I love going through and being like oh what can I make? Um, so yes I, I do still really really love it and I get on with a lot of the Minerva Crafts team anyway so um, and they're a lovely lovely bunch so I just it's one thing that I don't think I can give up very soon but I can always take a break if it gets super busy and sometimes I do that over the winter um, but anyway let's get to it okay so the first item is a bit creased and I apologize for that but I just took it out of my drawer but um, it's a Nora t-shirt so you would have seen this on my Instagram um, this is actually fabric from my shop um, it's a Rico jersey um, and it's basically like a really off well it's, it's meant to be white but I I think because it's been in the wash it's sort of gone like a, a tint of pink because it's got neon spots all over it. It's a beautiful fabric, it's super soft. Um, we've actually sold out of it in the shop now um, so I don't know whether I'll get some more in. I like to sort of change up the fabrics quite a lot in the shop because we don't have a very large range. Um, but I love the fabric and so I made a Tilly in the Buttons Nora top. Um, this one is elbow sleeve length. It's the crop shape so it's sort of shorter at the back um, shorter at the front than it is at the back and it's got this lovely side split detail um, it's got like the narrow neckline I know you know that I've made quite a few Nora jumpers from when um, from like last not last winter but the winter just gone you know what I mean um, I've got two Christmas Noras um, that I did for the Tilly and the Buttons Christmas jumper competition that I helped judge and I have one in like that sort of um, recycled fabric that I made um, that's sort of like green and black with like the funnel neck. I have all of them in funnel necks. Um, so um, I wanted like a normal t-shirt. And I love the Nora pattern. I just think it's really easy to use. And 
I'm also wearing another Nora that's just gone up on the Minerva Cross Blogger Network. Um, so this is in a um, loop back jersey. It's on the Blogger Network if you want to read all about it. And I just um, did a cuff modification, so I added cuffs to it. Um, but I'll show you a better shot of it. Well, I'll probably insert some images over the top of this anyway. Um, but I love the Nora pattern so much. I think it's really, really it's so it's such an easy sort of quick pattern and I just find that it really suits me or I really like the style of it um so I'm very very happy with those so the Nora pattern is like one of my up there's now um I think I actually well, I mean I might prefer it to the Coco I know that's a big thing but I just really like the style of it and you can also like hack it into a dress quite easily um so yes Anyway, Nora's. We love Nora's. Okay, sticking with tops. I finally used this fabric, which if you follow me for a while, you would have known that I got this ages ago. I think like last spring, like so almost a year ago, maybe even longer. You'll tell me if you watch all my um, fabric stash videos. Um, it's like a textured jersey, again from Minerva Crafts, but um, um, this wasn't a gifted one, I, I just bought this. And I made another Freya, um, because with this th that sort of spring transition weather we were having a couple of months ago, um, I was finding that my grey Freya that I made, I was just wearing it all the time. Um, so I thought it would be so useful to have another one. So I think on one weekend, even though I really wasn't in the mood for sewing, I just quickly whipped this up. Um, and I really like it. So you'll probably see this on my Instagram quite a lot because it's so easy to wear with things. I just think stripes are quite classic and quite elegant so they sort of just make your outfit instantly I don't know just a bit nicer um but I love wearing this and it washes really well this fabric which I was really happy with um and I love the colour it's like ivory with little thin navy stripes so yeah another Freya if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen this t-shirt already um, it's another peak t-shirt. So Wendy Ward's book, The Beginner's Guide to Sewing with Knitted Fabrics. Um, I'll put all the lists of all the patterns and stuff that I'm mentioning in the description below. Um, but the peak t-shirt is like one of my favourite t-shirt patterns, like a quick sort of just normal classic t-shirt. Um, again, like the Nora, I love the boxy shape to it. I always do like a crop style. Um, and this is in a black Pontaroma, which was actually leftovers from another project I was making. Um, and yeah, I've been wearing this quite a lot. It's just plain black. You know, when I was talking before about like adding more staple wardrobe pieces, um, I was always sort of going like, oh, I wish I had a black t-shirt. I wish I had, you know, a stripy Freya and stuff like that. So um, these are sort of my classic staple pieces because I am getting rid of like a few things that I don't wear that much anymore. And, you know donating them um but I want all my me maids to be stuff that I wear a lot um and the peak t-shirt is one thing that I just love wearing and I thought a plain black one would be very useful okay on to bottoms again if you see the Minerva Cross Blogger Network you would have seen my Dominique skirt so this is a leopard print crepe um Dominique skirt and I did a button hack to it so I basically changed the um, seam allowance join down the centre um, to add a button placket to it. So I've added a button front in this lovely flowy crepe fabric. Um, I actually made this very very quickly before we went on a trip to Amsterdam for my sister's 21st birthday and so I got to take all my blogger photos in Amsterdam which is very bougie of me. Um, but I loved it and I love wearing it. It makes me look a bit more fashionista than like baggy jumper soap. Um So I was really happy with that and I love the way it looks and I have worn it a few times to work as well because it's just like an easy throw on. Um, and I, I don't own a Dominique skirt which really surprised me because I think I've had the pattern for ages and it's a great beginner's pattern if you have never made anything ever dressmaking wise because there's this really simple um, boxy skirt with like patch pockets or you can make this flowy Dominique skirt. Um, so um, I'd re definitely recommend it and I think it's one that normally Tilly's patterns are 1450 but I think the Dominique is 1250. Um, it's like an introduction to dressmaking um, one and you don't have to use fussy fabrics like this, you can just use a plain 
cotton. Um, so really simple to sew with and obviously because I rave about Tilly's patterns all the time, really easy to follow. So another Tilly, I mean most of my wardrobe is just Tilly and the Buttons patterns, let's be honest. And I am finding, I was having a conversation with some customers the other day because I realised that I do talk about Tilly's button, Tilly and the Buttons patterns all the time. And I know that I know them all, like, so I have, like, a connection to them anyway, so of course I'm going to, like, love them, because they're beautiful people. But also their patterns are just perfect. Photographed instructions, clear instructions, um, their measurements are always on point, I never have any troubles making them. Um, and because I recommend them to my customers, and my customers use them all the time, and then one of my my regulars came in the other day and she said, do you know what, We're, we've been so spoiled with Tilly's patterns because now i got this other pattern. Um, she was like, the, the instructions just aren't as good. <laughs> so, I mean, I know I rave about them all the time, but because, I think also, because um, I don't get a lot of time to sew stuff for myself, I do reach for the patterns that I find easier to make quickly, and I find Tilly's patterns Tilly's patterns always make up really quickly and because the instructions are so clear and so concise I know that I never have any troubles with them so I can just sort of like whip them up um, whereas I don't really get time to do anything that's super technical anymore um, even like the Eden coat that she brought out um, I found really easy to follow the instructions and I know I was a pattern tester so I didn't even have the full in like proper instructions yet I had sort of like the draft instructions um, and I still found it quite like good to follow. So um, if you struggle with big pattern house patterns anyway, then give them give them a try. I'm I'm just realising how many Tilly's patterns I have here. Um, again, quite creased. My mom's gonna kill me. Um, this is the nest skirt. So I think this yes, this was a Minerva post again. Um, and it's in like this bright orange denim and I just made like a really simple skirt. I have got another nest skirt in green corduroy that I made up um, but I left it at work because the corduroy I forgot when you're walking with it because it's like a nice sort of short mini skirt it was getting stuck to my tights and just frictioning and so it would just like stick to me and then I couldn't walk anymore um, so I bought some non-static lining thanks to one of my followers for recommending that to me um i think it was jan yeah i think it was jan so thank you jan um so i bought some non-static anti-static dress lining um and i'm gonna line it because then i can wear it but obviously now it's summer i don't really want to wear a thick bottle green corduroy skirt um but yes yeah, so i've made two nest skirts now and i just love them i just love the style of them and i think this bright orange one's really fun I like the way it makes me feel. Nice and summery. Okay, this was one of my like most feared things to make ever, um, but I'm so glad I did it. It was the Dawn Jeans. It's a Megan Nielsen pattern. Um, again, Minerva Crafts, forcing me to, they weren't forcing me, but um, you know, make something that I wanted. Um, it has got a button fly instead of a zip fly. Um, which I like, but I did make it in rigid denim because I wanted them to be like a classic um, pair of like rigid denim jeans and they fit me beautifully. The pattern is really tailorable and I love like how to like fit it to you. And although they did take me a while, um, I'm really happy with the way they turned out. So I opted for a wide leg um, jean and then I sort of did some machine embroidery all over it because you know, I can't leave anything alone um, and I'm also making a pair of these for my auntie um, because she loved them and it was her, um, my cousin sort of like messaged me and we sort of organised it as like her birthday present from him so um, I'm looking forward to making those but again she's been very understanding because I've got loads of commissions on at the moment and I still haven't made her toil pair yet. Um, so I need to go on with that, but she says she doesn't wear jeans until the autumn anyway, but still. Um, but yes, I love these. So they're the Megan Nielsen Dawn jeans, and there's like four different styles of jean. You can have like shorts, wide leg, tapered leg, or straight cut, or maybe skinny fit, I can't remember. Maybe straight cut. Anyway, um, it's a great pattern, 
really easy. Well, I said really easy. It's not really easy, but it's very easy to follow. And you do need to set some time aside. I found that if I, when I stopped and started it, I was really delaying it. Um, but if you just sort of take your time with it, it's a good pattern to learn how to make jeans with, in my opinion. But I haven't tried any other jeans patterns, so don't take my word for it. Um, but I loved it. I love the pattern and I love the way these look on me. So thank you, Megan Nielsen. And I have another pair of trousers. Um, so these are Tilly and the Buttons. Um, I was asked to pattern test their new um, Jessa pattern. Um, and I loved making these. Um, so I made them in a lilac linen. Um, they're a high-waisted sort of like wide leg um, trouser pattern and I've added the patch pockets on the back. Um, it's got this lovely sort of like button placket detail here that's like angled and I love that and this is like a fake pocket. Um, and I added gold buttons to mine which they've got quite a prominent sort of like, I can't remember what that bit's called. So it doesn't really work on this one so I might have to change them, I'm not sure. Um, but I loved making these. Again, I pattern tested them so I didn't even have the proper instructions. I had like the draft ones and I found these really, really good to sort of make up. Um, I, I struggle to fit them slightly because I have quite a tiny waist and high waisted things I have to make so much smaller because, I mean, I know I've got a pretty much a boy figure um, but I do have a little bit of hip so I wanted them to fit it on my hips obviously because the style of them is very well fitted around the hip and area. Um, so I wanted them to fit nicely there but because I have such a tiny waist I had to bring them in a lot on the waist. Um, but they have since made a few tweaks before it was released because that's the whole point of pattern testing anyway. Um, so you should have no problems with the fit of them unless you know that you always have troubles fitting trousers. Because I mean, that's the whole point of dressmaking, making beautifully fitted clothes for our shapes. Um, but because the pattern, as usual, is so well laid out, um, it will be very easy for you to tailor. Um, so yeah, so I'm really happy with these. Um, I haven't worn them that much because um, since I've made them, we had like that little patch of sort of good weather. Um, and I think I wore them once and then we've had rain ever since. Um, so, but I definitely want to wear them to work, but maybe not on a mum and baby club day because they are pale lilac and I don't think that would work well with biscuits and toys and crafting. <laughs> um, but no, I really, really love these. So I'm very happy with those. Okay. One last thing that I almost forgot about is the fabric that I made the peak t-shirt with, um, was like a black pontaroma again from another cross and it, it, it was leftovers that I made from these which are the Monsal lounge pants from Wendy Ward's book the same book as a peak t-shirt um, and I made these again for the Minerva cross blogger network because I wanted a pair of trackies um, that I could wear to work <laughs> and I know that sounds really silly but at work especially when it's busy you know I want to look nice but at the same time I have to wear me maids and sometimes me maids aren't like like you know my, my dawn jeans and stuff I love wearing them but they're not very like sort of like chill out get on with work sort of clothes and this sounds really silly but anyway comfy clothes are like my go-to you know I wear a lot of jumpsuits and like baggy things um much to my boyfriend's dismay um but I wanted a pair of like sort of like classic looking trackies um, that I sort of could dress up. Um, so it, I, if you go on the Minerva Cross Blogger Network, um, you will see me wearing them with my Nora top, and I think they look quite nice with like boots, like heeled boots. Um, and I just think the black's nice and classic, so I'm really happy with the way that these turned out. And of course, if I was really daring, I could wear them with my black t-shirt and look like I'm wearing a black tracksuit. Well, we'll see how that looks. But yeah, I'm very happy with these. So. Um, and I've worn them a lot because they're so comfy and the Pontaroma is super, super soft. I'm so very happy with this. Right, well, I hope you have enjoyed seeing my full of cold face again. Um, I'm sorry if um, you have struggled to listen to my voice because I know sometimes 
when you speak to people with, who are ill and you're like, oh god, that sounds horrible. But I don't feel that bad. I'm just like a bit tired. Um, I just sound quite bad. Um, and my chest is a bit sort of like tickly. But I've got some cavonia. So that'll sort me out. Um, but yes, I hope you enjoyed this video and you are glad that I'm back. Fingers crossed. Um, and I have got a few more videos planned. Mum's away on holiday this week, so me and Kay are in the shop all week, sort of like trying to get all the hours covered and because um, I don't have anyone else to help out um, because, you know, monies and all that. Um, but we've got a very busy week ahead, so I'm excited, but I have hopefully carved out some time to do a really quick catch up video around the shop and just to show you a few things and like a few changes and a few things I'm working on, which I'm excited about. Um, so yes, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really means the world to me. If you haven't subscribed, then please do join us. We are a team. Um, we, I do promote sort of like encouraging each other and nice comments only please and chat to each other in the comments. Um, it's nice when you all share patterns. Again, as per usual, if there's a pattern that you think that I'd really like, um, then let me know. I'm looking for wrap dress patterns. So if you know of any good wrap dress patterns that you've seen or you've used, then please let me know. I'd be really interested. Um, also, one pattern that I'm really looking forward to, I've, I've got it on PDF. I bought it recently because um, I was reading Susie magazine um, because I had a feature in there and I wrote a little tutorial. Um, and there was the Adelia dress by The Hemming. Um, and I think they're Australian or New Zealand based, I can't remember. Um, but it's like a button front dress and so I've downloaded that as a PDF because it was beautiful and I saw it in the magazine. So if you like, if you're like me and you like boxy shapes, um, then check out the Adelia dress by The Hemming. I'll put a link in it below because I saw it in the magazine and I was like, oh, I need that dress so much. It's like a summery, sort of like pretty, but not fitted. So right up my street. Um, but yes, thumbs up, subscribe comment below and I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching everyone. Happy handmade. <coughs> God, I was holding that one in.